done, uh, including here this arch, which is not meant to be an architectural unit, but it's meant to be uh, a, a traveler, a sort of fellow traveler along this path moving from one portion of the garden to the next. And you're getting your first little glimpse uh, of the Japanese garden, and uh, several of the carpenters will be at work here today. Um, we began work about two years ago on this uh, project. It's the Richard and Helen DeVos uh, Japanese Garden. And we are anticipating completion in 2015. Andrew, let's stop here for a second because I want to talk about the map. So I'll get out and, and, uh, and stay put. But this little pond right here is the little pond just directly behind. The whole site is uh, eight acres. And uh, at the very center is a large uh, lake. The lake uh, resembles the uh, Japanese uh, character for heart because it's at the uh, heart of the Japanese garden. You'll enter in here. This is the uh, main gate, and we'll drive right by the main gate area in a few minutes. There are several paths, one that goes out to an island over an arched bridge. Uh, over at the left-hand side, if you were to go to the left-hand side, this is a moss garden. We'll finally have a permanent home for our bonsai collection. And this is a uh, Zen-style rock garden. And this area is what's uh, under construction just behind. You can see this sort of uh, zigzag wall here. When we go through, you'll see it in concrete. Then there is a pathway that will lead you out to a peninsula with a uh, tea house. Coming back down, this open space is actually a hill. It's a viewing hill that uh, guests will be able to uh, climb and they'll have a pretty spectacular view of the Japanese garden in this direction. Uh, coming back down again, and we'll see it from the back side, this is a uh, zigzag bridge and it'll give us an opportunity to have a pretty impressive uh, iris collection. <coughs> Excuse me, uh, this is a beach, a pebble beach. Coming back around again, there are two very large waterfalls, one here and uh, one here. Uh, symbolically, uh, one is representative of the masculine, the other is representative of the feminine. A uh, peninsula that comes out with an arbor and a pavilion where people can uh, sit and enjoy the view. Coming back down and over and out again past the boat launch and into this main plaza area.